new week, new day, new opportunity to start as you mean to go on. I certainly do love Mondays. I love starting with high energy, with a positive attitude and um, bringing you guys some new advice and new concepts, something to think about today. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lee Constantinou and I help people feel and think better about themselves. And through my personal fitness journey, I discovered that there was more to this feeling better thing than just exercise and diet, which I did understand was a big part of it, but then I realized this is a whole other element of the way we think and how we operate in our day-to-day -day lives that is going to influence how our bodies feel and how we see ourselves. And so I help people um, overcome those feelings of inadequacy, of in insecurity, to help them show up as leaders in their life. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to overcome anxiety and overwhelm in high pressure environments. So if you are somebody who works in a high pressure environment, being in sales, or you are a leader, a manager, somebody who has to deal with a lot of stress on a daily basis, you show up on a Monday and there's a million and one things to do, then this video will help you out. It'll help you feel better about what is to come. Because the, the thing is, anxiety and overwhelm, they come when we aren't being present. When we are living in the future, living in the place that hasn't yet happened. When we think about the things that we need to do but haven't yet done, and therefore we don't know what the outcome will be. You see, whenever you feel anxious and stressed and worried, it's because you are living in the future and we don't know what is going to happen. And so what we need to start doing is pulling ourselves back to where we are right now, what is happening right now, how we feel right now. You see, on Mondays, everybody starts the week with a lot of stress a lot of anxiety because they start thinking about the things that they need to do this week in order to move their business, move their lives forward. And then they start to create the future that hasn't yet happened. And that is really where the problems begin. And so when you pull yourself back into this present moment, which is where you are right now in your life, you can start to be in control. And the thing is, if you work in sales, if you have a product, a service, or you work in a high pressure environment, when you carry this anxiety with you, you start to bring it to meetings, to phone calls, to other people that you are around. You start to become desperate. You start needing from other people and you stop showing up in an authentic way. You see, when you have expectations of yourself, how much you need to make, how many sales you need to do, when you start to put that pressure on yourselves, you start to build stress and then you start to need from people. You start to show up and be desperate in order to get yourself to where you want to be. And so what we need to do is to start being present in this very moment. And that comes down to just being grateful. Being grateful for everything that you have in your life right now. Being grateful for who you are, what you have, and the opportunities that are coming your way. Because when you show up with gratitude, when you get on the phone, when you have a meeting, when you have a presentation in front of people, and you show up from a place of gratitude and being happy with everything that you have, you can start being authentic in how you deliver yourself, how you give your energy to the people that you want to work with or the people that you are around. And when you show up with that authenticity, people will warm to you and you will start to create the abundance that you are trying to create. And so something that you can do right now is just look at your life and think about the things that you have and that you are genuinely grateful for because what this does is puts you in a positive state of mind. There's tons of chemical reactions that happen as a result of you thinking about the things you're grateful for and then you will start to project that energy to other people, whether you are on a phone call or you are in a meeting. And so just pause yourself in this moment and hold yourself back from thinking about the future that hasn't yet happened and just bring yourself in this moment right now and ask yourself, what am I grateful for? What do I have in my life that I appreciate and I'm thankful for? It might be your family, it might be your health, it might be a loved one, it might be the job that you have, opportunities 
that are coming your way, whatever it is, there are some things that you are grateful for right now. And when you start to show gratitude for those things, you can start to be present and bring positive energy into the environments that you are in and start to create more opportunities for yourself. Before I forget, if you would like to learn more about this kind of stuff, about how to create more um, abundance in your life through changing the way you think and changing the way you feel, grab a copy of my free ebook, The Sales Soaring Secrets. Um, go to www.thebodyconsult.com forward slash free book. That is thebodyconsult.com forward slash free book book and learn about these high performance habits of people who are able to overcome stress and anxiety and show up at a high level in their day-to-day -day lives. Quick story for you. When you think about the Eastern culture, the, the people who live out on that side of the world and the things that they do in their environments and not just in work, but just outside of work, what they do for recreation, they all have a very different way of living, a different way of being. And something many of them do are practices such as Tai Chi and meditation. You see, and when these people practice these disciplines, they focus on aspects of their life that are away from the things that they want. The lesson that you learn through practices like Tai Chi and meditation are presence, are being present right now and focusing on your breathing and the simple things in your life that you can truly be grateful for. And they live in this state of presence of happiness, of peace within themselves. And so when they come to a working environment, they have more uh, calmness about their persona. They're able to show up and be liked, be respected because of how they adopt their, them, themselves outside of a high pressure environment. And it's even extended into the working environments where people are practicing Tai Chi meditation within their organizations. And so what you can do is learn from these people who are dealing in even higher pressure situations than you're probably dealing with because they're able to overcome it. And the way that they're able to overcome it is through the practices of meditation, of breathing, of gratitude and focusing on the present day, focusing on the now. And when you take the lessons that they, that they have from, from their work environment and start applying it into your life, into your, into your high pressure situation, whether it is being in sales or being a leader or manager or somebody who is um, needed in the world, when you bring it into your life and start to practice these things, you can start to stay in control of your emotions and bring a better version of yourself. When you bring that better version of yourself, you will project the energy into the people that you interact with, the people that you want to work with, the people that you want to impact, and you'll start to feel more peace and happiness and contentment. So if you like this kind of stuff, if you would like to become a master of your internal environment, how you feel and how you think about yourself, then grab a copy of my free ebook. Go to thebodyconsult.com forward slash free book that is thebodyconsult.com forward slash free book and start to change the things in your life that you're not happy about. If you don't enjoy being anxious and overwhelmed and stressed out, then you have to be the person to look at yourself and change it. The power is in your hands and it's about you making the decision that I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to wake up on Monday and feel stressed and anxious about the week that is to come. I want to start enjoying every moment and maximizing each day like it's my last. So if this video is helpful, if you guys found this message inspiring, give me a thumbs up so I know that you are still with me and you're tuned in. Uh, and if you do want to encourage somebody else who might be feeling like this in a high pressure environment, whether they work with you or somebody in your life that you know is dealing with with high pressure in, in their lives, then tag them and share this out with them so that they can start to be more present and start to feel grateful for what they have right now. If you have any questions too, drop them down below and I'd love to answer them in the comments. Cool, speak to you guys soon.